it's me, Mandy, and you may recognize this gorgeous girl, Ashley. Um, I've done a video with her before, and I feel like she's like a little miniature Victoria's Secret model, and that's why she's sitting in my chair, because she's gorgeous. So first of all, I miss you guys. Um, this is my first bit video back from New York City. Hi, Ashley's and super excited because she's been waiting for some time to get into my chair, and I'm like, finally, we made it work. Anyway, so last time, really quick, a little bit of history of Ashley's hair. She was more of a golden blonde, very natural. She's, she just loves a natural look, but we took her a little lighter last time by doing a balayage. Now, and we left out her rooty look. Now, if you look down, she, this is pretty much outgrown all summer long, and it's transitioning super beautiful, but she's ready to be blonde. So we are gonna just go ahead and start lighting her up, lightening her up around the root. Now, we are not gonna be like, highlight, low light, highlight, low light. We're gonna do some baby lights all throughout her rooty area, but we're gonna be doing it all freehand painting. There's going to be something else involved that I am so excited to tell you guys about, because let me just tell you what, I am the first colorist out on market right now that has this product in my hands, in my salon, and it's not even been released to the public. And this product that I'll be using on her hair, I can't tell you much about yet, but it's coming out early 2016, and it's going to be amazing. So I'm gonna give you a little teaser of what it's like, but I can't explain every single detail of it quite yet. So let's get right to the formulation mixture and let's go mix together. So let's get okay, this Okay, you guys, so I'm about ready to formulate and I'm going to show you a little teeny bit of what I'm doing, okay? Um, this is what I'm doing. I can't show you the full package yet because it's actually like not even packaged because it's so brand new to the market. So let me show you. You know that I love flash lift from Redkin. You know that's like my go-to every single time I lighten people's hair, right? Well, I'm using something a little different this time. I am using um, a lightener, but it's not flash lift. This is what it looks like. Do you see this? It's not blue, it's not purple, it's not violet, it's white, and it's, a, it's amazing. It's amazing stuff. So that's what I'm using today, and that's all I can tell you guys about. So I'm gonna be mixing this up. Um, this requires anywhere from 20, 30, 40 volume, and the ratio is one and one half. So, um, but pretty much, we all know as the consistency as lightener, we kind of mix the way we wanna mix, right? So it just goes off of the consistency that we love, but I am going to follow the rules and mix to the ratio from one. Let's go in here and add in four, six, perfect. So I'm gonna be putting this in my new mixer. Hurry and whip this on up, and this has a little electrical whip right here, um, and this is going to save so much time for me. Okay, so it's whipping, can you see? What? And I want this to go for 75 seconds, and we're gonna see the consistency this gives me. And then once I whip it, I am adding Olaplex in. Because we want to keep hair, we want to keep hair very, very healthy. So as this is whipping you guys, I want to explain to you the goal with um, consistency of balayage has to be almost to the point where you have to you hit the bowl upside down and you it doesn't fall out of the bowl. That's the consistency balayage lightener should be mixed up as. Okay. Let's see what this is. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here and add a teeny, see how that's too runny? That's way too runny. So good, that's very good to do because you wanna make sure the consistency is on point. And she has a lot of hair, so I'm okay with having a lot more of this lightener added in. Perfect. Okay, let's go in here and whip it one more time. for 45 seconds. Okay, that's better. So I feel pretty good about this consistency at this point. So if we were to go like this and go upside down with it like that, 
it should not run out of the bowl. That's how thick it needs to be. So that's a pretty good consistency. Now we have Olaplex added to this so we keep the health of the hair. Okay, you guys, so as I'm sectioning out her hair, I wanted to show you guys a little trick that you can do instead of using clips. And because clips can kind of just get in the way. So all you can do, all you need to do is just take a foil. And this is the section I'm working with right now. You'll just take a foil and seriously just wrap it like this. And you have your sectioned off, which is awesome. Then you can take it and clip it up and all this hair won't get in your way. So that's kind of a cool little trick you can start doing if you're like, ah, I don't have my clips available or a clip falls off of your head and you want to hurry and quickly section out the hair, that's an awesome option to do. So I have her sectioned out. I am going to start in the back because the back is obviously a little bit more resistant. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to take a section about this size, okay? It's with my new lightener that I have. So I'm going to pull tension right through the mid shaft and I'm going to place this lightener on. And I'm doing this as, I'm not going to go in here and just place it like this, okay? I'm pressing softly, and I really only want this to penetrate onto the top of the hair. I don't want this to seep through all the way to the bottom. So do you see how I have lightener there, but on the bottom I do, it's not seeping all the way through? That's exactly how I want this to be. So now I'm going to go in here, and I like to start through the mids like this. And then I'll go up through here. And I'll start feathering through the top of her hair, so through her virgin hair, okay? And then I want to create a more of a highlighted look, but still very natural. So that's what I'm going to go through here, and I'm going to just pretty much place that where I was vision out where her highlights would be. A very soft look, but do you see how I still have a teeny tiny bit of her natural left in? That's exactly how we're going to be doing this through the entire process of her hair. Just because she does want to keep some of her natural in because she likes the multi-dimensional look. So now once I get down to this area, I'm going to keep just going down through the entire ends, still holding tension, okay, still having tension. And then I'm going to pick up a foil. I want to use foil in this situation because I want to keep isolation and I want to keep the heat in here, okay. So I'm going to put some foil on here. Now I'm going to be starting to separate this hair because she has a lot of hair on her head. So I'm going to just break this into half. So this is where you guys are supposed to be very tedious with this work because now that she likes to pull her hair all the way up, okay, we want all this hair on the sides to still have color. So I'm going to also take this section and I'm going to color this separately and I'm going to do it in a different angle so that way when she pulls her hair up, she'll still see blonde at her roots. Starting at the mid, pressing lightly, and as you can see my brush, it's completely um, vertical. I'm going to go up to those roots. And I really don't have a ton of product on my brush. When I'm starting to move up, to the rooty area, we want to make sure we're, we're in control. So if it's if it's where you have to take smaller sections, less product, go ahead and do it because it will make your life so much easier. So I'm going to just create my own little highlight as you can see. And then what I really want to make sure I do is it transitions really nicely. So that's when I get my blur brush involved. So I'll just go through here and I'm going to just roll up just like this, okay? Back in the day, after Redken Exchange, I used to kind of just do windshield wiper method just like this and kind of blend through, which was fine. But now, the best way of doing this is just going up and rolling out with the blur brush just like this, okay? And that will give you a really soft transition. Okay, now still holding tension in here, and I'm going to go ahead and take that all the way to the ends. Once I get to about the mid shaft section, I'm going to take my cute little color board here and I am going to press that because I want to, I do want to penetrate this hair all the way into the other side. So when I get to the roots, the mids, I want that to be surfaced and I don't want that to be on the underside of the hair. When I get to the ends, I do want it to be on the underside of the hair. Just to lighten the ends just a teeny tiny bit more. Taking a foil. Isolating this with foils. So, you know, back in the day, 
our method of doing highlights, which actually, you know, it just, it all depends on the way that your client wants their hair. But, you know, you could still go in here and do a really, really fine baby light and pick that up and color that. But, and there's times I may actually do that. It just depends on what I'm doing to the hair. So, um, with her though, I want to take this section and I want to make sure the underside gets painted on. And I'm going to flip it up, okay? Taking this. and stroking this very softly. All the way up. And now, holding tension on the ends right through here. And just really giving it some nice stroking, but very softly, there's no reason to press too hard go through here and this is where it's so fun you guys you can be you can be creative with this like you if you want to keep some out you can if you don't then you don't have to so how I have on this side I don't really have much left out but then if I flip it onto this side you see how there's still some of her natural left that's going to be such a beautiful multi-dimensional root but she's still gonna feel really blonde but not too like too unnaturally blonde does that make sense and let me just say, I am loving the way this lightener is applying onto the hair. It's so nice and soft, and it's not budging. Once you press it on, once you move it on there, it's on there. So I hope that little section right there just helped you. With someone who pulls up their hair a lot, you can do it on flip sides and switch it all in that. Okay, it's a triangle section. So I have it going to a point and going to a point through here. I'm gonna be working my way diagonally up this hair because of the way her hair falls. Her head doesn't just go into a square. So normally, back, normally you could just take a section just like this and call it good, start painting, okay? But now what I wanna start doing is, is as I'm going further up her hair, I'm gonna start taking sectionings diagonally like this and moving my way up like this against her head. This section's a little too large for me, but I'm going to cut that in half. I can't tell you guys how much I love this liner. You guys are in for a treat. Holding tension in. And bringing this up, creating my own highlight. Is I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna roll like this, roll. I'm not gonna go like this and roll all the way up. I'm gonna just roll it up like that. So rolling and rolling it up. And that really just softens things up so much. And sometimes less is more. You really don't need a ton of blurring if you can blend it in really nicely with your brush. Okay, now let's move to this side. Again, you guys, as you can see, this is a section that you know her hair would be pulled up, right? You know all this hair would be up, so we want to go on each side. softer at it this one I'm gonna be actually flipping on the other side and adding in more lightener because this one I did not do that with so I am switching it up every other one so I'd like to add it in and then like I said I'll go in here and I'll start going higher 
And then what I like to do is I'll, I'll drag down and get a little bit more product on my brush and then keep dragging up like this. So I don't have to keep dipping my brush into the bowl. Because I have enough through the mist shaft right here that I'll have enough to go in here and create my highlights. So once I put that on there, I'll just take my blur brush and roll up again. Okay, now let's flip it onto the other side. And this side I wanna have more of a baby light. Bring that back down. You can see there's still her highlights right through here without the other side being seeped through to the point where it's going to ruin her low lights. Add a foil because I'm happy with where the, the liner was placed. I am finished here in the back and now we are on to the sides of her hair. Um, sides and fronts. And let me tell you what, this is the most important piece to focus on because this is the piece that not only will be shown a lot, but she'll also pull her hair back and then she'll see like her pretty highlights that we're going to be putting into her hair. I'm going to do a baby light on the bottom. So this part is super important because if you have a client who is someone like Ashley who's like, okay, I know I pull my hair up all the time, but I still want some dimension left in there. You're going to really want to just make sure you pull it opposite of the way the, way the hair is falling. So as you can see, I'm creating her own highlight throughout the front of her hair. Now I'm gonna do, once I place this, I'm gonna take my blur brush and I'm gonna go down with it just like this. I'm not gonna go up, I'm gonna go down. And blend that through really nicely. And add in more lightener. And we really want the top and the front parts to really be blonde, so we're gonna make that happen. I'm not actually touching, touching the very top of her root. So like she has like a teeny, teeny, teeny bit left out of the root. And that way when her hair grows out, she's not gonna have a line of demarcation. And this is when I'm gonna do more of a baby light on this section. So go as high as you can without it touching the actual scalp and leaving out still some roots. And I'm gonna do a little bit more of a baby light here. So I'm gonna go through here and just stroke as much as I can very softly and lightly, again without touching the roots.
we are gonna go in and mix up the Blonde Idol um, Base Breaker, and this is the cool. How these have little silver buttons. I like to call them buttons, but they're just little silver circles, and it will show you this is cool. You wanna make sure, even if your client is golden, even if your client's like, I want golden hair, I would suggest still doing cool because sometimes this turns a little bit warm, but you wanna make sure you're taking it off the head within 10 minutes because it will go a little bit warmer. So let's go ahead and mix this on up. 10 volume with peroxide, and it is equal partings here and add in one ounce, boom. I'm gonna add in equal partings, boom, done, okay? And let me be honest with you guys, because that's all I do, that's all I am, and I'm honest with you guys. This stuff stinks bad. <laughs> I wish it smelled a little bit better, but it does stink, and it is what it is, because that's what happens. Sometimes when a chemical is a chemical, you got, it has to stink. Now we are going to go ahead, we just rinsed her out and everything looks awesome. But now what we're gonna go ahead and do, break the base. So I'm gonna just go all around her hairline, bump her up about one shade lighter than her natural. Some of the pieces that yeah, didn't, that yeah, didn't yeah, which yes. is what I wanted. But yeah, we I want some dimensional. Good. Oh my gosh, I didn't think I'd be that blonde. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi you guys, we are finished. And Ashley is freaking out. She's like, <laughs> I am the hottest blonde. No, seriously, she's kind of like, I am so blonde. And she is kind of shocked. And I was a little, I always tell my clients, listen, you're gonna love your hair in two days. I promise you, text me in two days after you give your hair the first wash, you're gonna text me and be like, oh my gosh, I love my hair. The first day is always a pretty big shock, especially when you haven't been this blonde. So, this is her hair, these are her results. We are, I'm obsessed, but do you love it? Oh yeah. She yeah. just has to get used to it. She loves her hair, she's like, I cover my face and I'm thinking that I love the hair, but on me, I'm kind of like, oh. No, she looks beautiful. And I'm sure you guys all agree, See, look at the top of that. Look how pretty that is. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Her hair feels amazing. Honestly, I can tell you right now, I don't even think damage happened. I'm really impressed. Um, we are gonna be sending her home with Olaplex number three. In fact, let me get you some before I forget. She will be going home with this and she will be adding this in her hair. She can do it actually up twice a week and she can sleep in it. So this will help her hair in the long run as well. So I would always suggest when you're using Olaplex and you're overlapping the hair and you're going lighter, always use Olaplex number three. Other things I highly suggest for her as a blonde is no hot water. Try to keep as cool water you can as possible. Try not to brush the hair as it's wet. If you own a brush, make sure it's a wet brush and I really love the fact that Ashley takes a good care of her hair. She invests in her hair because look at this hair, why wouldn't you? So she does use good products and she does keep heat off as much as possible, so that's amazing. Um, but I wanna show you guys the back of it. Turn all the way around. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's so pretty. And what I like is look at that shine, first of all, but it is multi-dimensional. So she still has some pieces left in here that is completely more her natural. Opening her insides of her hair, look how pretty that is. She still has some of those low lights in there because of her natural color. And when we go through here and break the base, it just bumped up her own hair just a teeny tiny bit. Look at that, isn't that so beautiful? I see, see all this little bit of this darkness. I really wanted the darkness left in there so she has, as it grows out, it won't be like blind. So it's gorgeous. 
Um, anyways, you guys, I hope today you learned a new method, a new technique. I always hope when I do these videos for you, I'm teaching you one thing or another. If it's from toning, breaking the base, a new technique, hair, hair painting, anything that I teach, I hope you're learning and taking in. That's my goal for you guys, and because you guys give me so much love back, I do it for you. So, keep loving my channel, subscribe to it, uh, like it, comment below, let us know what you think, because Ashley's like, can I pull off of being a blonde, or should I go back to the Rudy look? Like, she's trying to figure out what she really wants to do. But I told her, text me in two days and let me know that you love it because that's what's going to happen. So, <laughs> anyways, you guys, filter your hair. Tell me how good it feels. It feels incredible. Like, so like nothing. So silky. Like I didn't even go blonde. It's weird <laughs> how that's the case. <laughs> She's gotten damaged hair, but it's not even feeling damaged. That's what we love about it. And her ends feel good. We didn't even have to trim her ends, you guys. Like, her ends stayed the length that we needed them to stay. So, Anyways, you guys, you're going to see some before and after pictures. Thanks for watching. I love you. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.